that was a sneak peek at what we're getting ready to talk about right now because the College of Veterinary Medicine at the U of I is encouraging you to think differently about the problems you face. And in today's Forever Families, we're joined by second year veterinary student Julie Klein and Jake Fava. Yeah, you got it. Oh, sweet. A design strategist at Cybel. Siebel. Oh, it's all right. I'm one for two at the Siebel. Hold on, they, they went ahead of me. Siebel Center for Design. And who do we have here? This is my dog, Ruby. Oh, hey, Ruby. We're so glad you're here on our Friday. Hang oh, he's a licker, or she's a licker, isn't she? She is. So let's talk a little bit about what you guys are doing over there at the U of I, because this is a really interesting kind of partnership that you guys are doing to help be problem solvers. You're encouraging people to kind of think differently Ooh, she doesn't like Meredith. <laughs> it's okay, Ruby. Meredith is super friendly. The camera, maybe, may, maybe not. You're, you're encouraging people to kind of think outside the box, kind of think backwards. So tell me a little bit about this hackathon you've got planned. So it's going to involve veterinary students and all kinds of students from the undergrad it's okay. campus. Yeah. It's okay. Go on. Um, all kinds of students from the undergrad campus, from different disciplines that don't just include animals. So we're looking for engineers, business people, people from the liberal arts. And we're all going to come together and try to find a new way to look at canine anxiety instead of just things like medication. Yeah, it's kind of like two heads are better than one, right? And you're kind of pulling people from different areas like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. What's your role? Absolutely. So the Siebel Center for Design is putting on this face of research ahead of the hackathon. Um, so we're actually going out into the community and we're interviewing people whose dogs experience some kind of anxiety. Okay. Um, and then I think kind of Ruby like is right getting yeah. a little anxious <laughs> right. with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to take those findings and present them on the day of the hackathon just to bring everybody up to speed a little bit and, and, and inform them. Okay. So last year when you did this, or maybe it was 2018 that I saw, you were kind of trying to help cats. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah. what was that uh, study about? So that was about, do you know more about it? Um, I just know the, the broad base of it. A lot of times cats are returned to shelters or taken in the first place because they pee in the wrong spots, inappropriate urination. Okay. So we were trying to tackle a new way to look at cats that don't use the litter box appropriately. And so here we are looking at pictures from that event, and I think I was reading where the winners actually developed an app to, like, help them uh, track that kind of stuff going on? That's right, yeah. One of our big insights from that research was that people were misunderstanding uh, the behaviors of their cats um, and sort of like projecting their own like human interpretations of emotions oh. onto those animals. Um, and, and so that's kind of what we're trying to do this year, except we're now we're focusing on dogs and anxiety. Yes, and absolutely, yeah. So this is open to college students, is that right? Yes. So it's not like anyone out there can participate, unfortunately. That is correct. This time we are doing just uh, students. But there is a prize. Yes. Is that correct? That is correct. <laughs> if they come up with the winning, like, uh, answer or strategy to help our anxious dogs here, then they then they can um, win some big prizes. That's, that's exciting. So how long does it last and how does it work? They just get together and just start brainstorming? Yeah, so students can either come with teams preformed or they can kind of form a team when they get there. We'll have a representative from a big company come in and discuss uh, canine anxiety and how they understand it. So students from all disciplines that might not be super familiar can kind of get on the same playing field. And then students will divide into teams and then start to kind of tackle some ideas. And they have about four hours to come up with a design using clay, markers, PowerPoint presentations, and really showcase their design to some judges at the end of the evening and then the judges will decide who the winner is. Wow, so this is gonna be um, a great opportunity for people to, to work together and um, brainstorm some ideas. Oh, Ruby loves string cheese, friends. <laughs> Check that out. That, that was the trick right Good there. Stuff. So fun. Solves all the problems. If there's some students out there um, that want to get involved and think maybe we can help and we can help think outside the box, what's the best way for them to participate? Um, the best way they can participate is by going onto our website, and I, we can get that link to you if you don't already I've have got it. it, girlfriend. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, we can get that link to you. They can go there, and there's a nice little sign-up for them to put in all their information, and then we can get a hold of them. There you go. Encouraging people to just think differently about the way they approach problems. So very interesting. If you need any more information about the upcoming hackathon, you've got it at CILiving.tv. Thanks, guys.